I mean, the response is, I would say, very good. The whole supply chain is, uh, I think, it's very excited because of, I mean, thinking about suddenly the whole AI making the whole, uh, the, the, the whole Taiwan supply chain to be super excited again. Um, and if you look at what happened in, in Taiwan in the past two years, I mean, economy is booming, a lot of the, I mean, investments come in and, and uh, uh, a lot of tech demanding is, is, also, uh, is also very strong. So you look at Thai X is actually a very good uh, in, indication. So in general, I, I would say Taiwan economy is good and the whole tech continue to drive the economic growth. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Uh, and so to the important question, Robert, uh, I just wanted to get your sense on what is the central bank thinking about inflation and inflation expectations? How are they anchored for uh, the central bank in Taiwan to then determine their policy direction. Okay, I, I, I was because of honestly, I'm not really a strategist, but but the the okay the re, as I say the reason I mean how come Taiwan was increasing the interest rate is because of I mean Taiwan economy is very good. Uh, we see a lot of liquidity and money. In, I mean, I would say flow back to Taiwan. Uh, at the same time, we also see uh, the inflation. I mean, Taiwan right now the interest rate, I think it's far, it's I think far below a lot of the other country, even to US. And so Taiwan is al al already in the low interest rate situation for a long time. But but uh, um, I mean, but because of I would say because of the the whole economic uh, situation driving, um, they they kind of want to control the the the, I mean, to have over here situation, yeah. Hmm. No, I understand that uh, policy, macro policy is not your mandate. So let's get to what you are interested in talking about, which is essentially the chip supply chain and what have you. Uh, what's your own sense on the AI boom that we are seeing and whether or not Taiwanese companies, especially the likes of TSMC, Horn, High Precision and the likes, can really catch up to the kind of valuations, sky high valuations uh, that US chip businesses are trading at right now? Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I would say we are very excited on the whole AI supply chain. The, the reason because of the whole Taiwan, we built in a very complete computing supply chain uh, since 1980, uh, when PC started booming. So, so if, if you look at right now, the whole global, no matter, I mean, anyone else come up with any solution. I mean, in the, in the AI side, we know we have the biggest graphic chip guys, we have a bunch of the other I mean, CPU guys, we have a lot of the other cloud service provider guys. They all want to develop in their chip. They also want to develop in their solution. They also want to do their system. And where is the place they can go? It's definitely Taiwan. I mean, in Taiwan, they can, they can, they can co-work co with some of what we, we call IP company, IT design company. They foundry at the biggest, uh, I mean, uh, foundry company in Taiwan. Everyone knows TSM. And uh, global is TSM, and then they're working with a lot of the other ODM company over here to develop in the whole system. And when they come out with even need to big upgrade on the, a lot of the other component, I mean Taiwan is in a place they can very instantly to to taking care of all of this. 